Example one, a school has 60% girls and 40% boys. If 20% of the girls wear glasses and 40% of the boys wear glasses, what percent of all students wear glasses? So we're going to use the letter N to represent the number of students in the school. Number of students in the school. All right, so I'm gonna draw a picture to help us visualize what's going on here. So we're gonna do a bar here, and I'm gonna break this up and say that this 60% represents the girls, and this 40% represents the boys. So now I'm gonna write this in relation to the total number of students in the school. So 60% of this whole is this part of girls. So 60% of n. And when I go to write this out, I can change this to a decimal. Of means to multiply times n. So I can also represent the girls as 0.6 of n, or times n, so 60% of the school. Let's do the same thing for the boys. 40% of n, so 0.4 times n. Now, of this 60% of the school who are girls, 20% of them wear glasses. So, we're going to say 20% of the girls, which we are representing by this 0.6n. So, if we were to write this out similar to what we did here, we would change this to a decimal. Of means to multiply. And I'm going to use parentheses to show my multiplication, 0.6n. Let's do the same thing for our boys. So they tell us that 40% of the boys wear glasses. So 40% of the boys, which we're representing with this 0.4n. So we're going to, again, we're going to simplify this down. So change this to a decimal. And then we multiply by 4. 0.4 in. <clears throat> now since this is the girls and this is the boys and we want to know what percent of all students we need to combine these two things together. So we're going to multiply and then we're going to add them together. So 0.2 times 0.6 in would be 0.12 in plus 0.4 times 0.4 would be 0.16 in. And then when I add those together, I would get 0.28n. Or, if we change this to a percent, it would be 28% of students wear glasses. <clears throat>